Product delivery at customer convenience is an unavoidable factor in today's business environment. Odo can handle various delivery methods that allow you to manage the transport company, the price and the destination. You can even integrate Odo with external shippers to compute the real price and the packaging. So let's see how to set up delivery method or shipping method in Odo 15. So this is our Odo 15 uh, dashboard. And when you go to apps here, when you close the apps filter, you can see a module that is delivery cost. So delivery methods are handled by this module delivery cost. So you can see it is not installed. So delivery methods can be used for your sale orders, your deliveries, and also on your e-commerce. So here, when you open sales and go to configuration settings, here under shipping, you can see that option delivery method. So just enable this to compute shipping cost on orders. After enabling, uh, you have to save the settings. And when you enable this delivery method, automatically that delivery cost module will be installed. Here when you check the module, you can see delivery cost is installed. And we can also view some pre-configured shipping methods. So here you can click on the shipping methods to view. Uh, some shipping methods like free delivery charged, post, normal delivery charges. So these were configured, that is pre-configured in Odo. And you can integrate Odo with external shippers like here you can find FedEx, Free Post, UPS, USPS, Easy Post, DHL USA, UPS, so after enabling that, you can save the settings. Now when you open shipping methods, you can see some extra shipping methods configured. Here you can find for FedEx US. Like this way, you can view a lot of pre-configured methods. And you can also open shipping methods by coming under configuration you can see a separate menu shipping methods. Now let's create a custom shipping method by just clicking on this create button. So here you can see a form we have to provide the shipping method name. And here you can choose a provider. So we can find different providers are there. The shipment and delivery are generally done by third party service providers like DHL, Easy Post, FedEx. So you can choose those providers, third party providers, or you can set the provider as fixed price or based on rules. So when, it, when you set it as fixed price, then the price will be fixed. That is, you will just have to define the price, like you on the pricing tab. You can set a fixed price. And if you want the delivery to be free above a certain amount, then just click on this free if order amount is above. Here you can provide the amount. So if the order amount is above 500, then the delivery charge will be free. And if you're setting the provider as based on rules, then here you can add some pricing rules. So choose a condition based on either the weight or volume or price, weight in the volume or quantity. So let me set a condition as if price is greater than or equal to 200, then set delivery cost as 10 plus 
2 into 5. Okay, let me set it as 2 into quantity. So here you can see new rule is added. Then again, you can add price rule by just clicking on this add a line. So let me add a condition like if weight is greater than or equal to 500, then set delivery cost as 100 plus 1 into weight. And here we can choose the delivery product. So I have created a product courier service. You can see when you click on external link, it is a service product. And we can also set a margin on rate. That is a percentage amount will be added to the shipping price. So I'm setting margin on rate as 10 percentage. Then here we have a tab, destination availability. So we can restrict the availability of this uh, shipping method uh, by applying some filters like uh, this allows you to filter delivery carriers according to delivery address of your customers. So you can filter based on country, like you can make this method only available to a particular, uh, to some particular countries. Like this, we can choose countries and filter by states and zip code. So here we can set the zip range. And you can also make this shipping method uh, available on a particular website. That is, you can restrict publishing uh, this method on a website. So you can choose a website. And here we can provide a description that will be displayed on e-commerce and on online quotation. So after adding details, you can save this and you can see here an option to publish it on website. Here we can see it is marked as is published. Now let's create a sales quotation. Choose a product. Here you can see the unit price is 10,799, which is greater than 200. So as per the rule set inside the shipping method, courier service, if the price is greater than 200, then the delivery cost will be computed by adding 10 with two times the quantity of the product. That is two times the order quantity. So here when you click on add shipping, you can see a default shipping method, normal delivery charge. So we can update this from here. So here you can see a message shown like the shipping cost is free since the order amount exceeds 500. We have set a condition inside the shipping method that if the amount ordered amount is greater than 500, then the shipping charge will be free. So if I disable this, here you can see the cost is computed as 13.20. So the delivery cost will be 10 plus 2 into 1, which gives 12. But we have set a margin percentage, that is margin on rate as 10 percentage of the delivery cost. So 10 percentage of 12 will be 1.2. So we have to add that 1.2 with the 12, which gives a total 13.20. So this is our delivery that is shipping cost. So when you click on add, you can see that courier service is added to this order line. And you can also easily update the shipping cost by just clicking on this update shipping cost button. Uh, here we can again choose a different one and click on update. So here you can see that courier service is updated and changed to free delivery charge. Now we can save the quotation and confirm it. 
and create invoice. Then we can also update the shipping method. Like here we can again update to as fixed price. Now when you click on add shipping, here we can choose a courier service. You can see the total cost is 55. Because the fixed price we have set is 50 and the margin rate is 10%. So 50 plus five, it gives total delivery cost as 55. So when you click on add, you can see that courier service is added to order line. So that's how we create shipping methods and add delivery charges or shipping charges to orders in order 15.